Good afternoon. We're coming to you today on behalf of Music Reading for All website, musicreadingforall.org. And we're introducing our breath impulse counting method taken from the Division of Beat Method, published by the Southern Music Company. Um, and there's a great tape that goes along with that if you can order one and have access to a tape recorder or can transcribe it digitally. We highly recommend listening to it, and you can use excerpts. We used it with our band program for years. But our goal is to provide a method that gives you syllables singing on pitch, working into solfege to develop voice and ear training as you start instruments and or do mouthpiece testing placement and get your kids so when they get their mouthpieces, they know what to do and can make good quality sounds that will improve the intonation of your band, the rhythm of your band, and by your Christmas concert, uh, if you compare to previous concerts, I almost guarantee that you'll see a marked improvement. So uh, we have produced these. These are the worksheets that will be available via PDF on our website, musicreadingforall.org. And we, from a finale file, will record a video um, and we'll show the clapping and counting, hopefully today, if we can coordinate all that. Um, and uh, this version will use a uh, vibraphone. There'll be four pitches. And so let's double check our pitch. You hear the four clicks. Oh, oh, oh or I'll be singing down low. Um, and you'll hear the concept as we, as we read this together. Based on the Division of Beat Method, basic breath impulse counting for beginner music, chorus, band, orchestra classes, or online, solo, or at home for homeschool, while reinforcing basic math and reading concepts. Have students read these aloud in unison together where possible. It's probably a good idea to teach counting with foot tapping, and then later perhaps without. And you'll use vibrato here on a pulse, on a steady pulse. One. Um, I believe we had a B. Okay, B. It will be our note. And you want to pulse that. And later on, we'll use a tizzling concept. Um, counting aloud, tizzling with eighth notes, and then working ultimately into sixteenth notes but subdividing everything and clapping and counting in the beginning and um, saying rest on the rest and pretty much verbally saying what you're doing. The foot will be going down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So you want to feel that subdivision. That's what these arrows are for here. And on the rest and on the half notes, one, three, one, rest, three, four, again on quarter notes, whole notes, and so on. And they're clearly identified in the worksheets. So let's begin again on that B. One or one or one. Up high, where most kids will be, hopefully in the sixth grade when you're teaching this. So, four clicks, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. One, three, one, rest, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, three, one, rest, three, four, clap, and hold, 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 clap, two, Three, four, half note. One, clap and hold for three. One, rest. Three, four. Then the concept, hold note. Hold. One, three, for half notes. One, two, three, four. So we'll gradually take away those visual aids as we go, but we find those are very good when starting out, and then every student should have a worksheet handy.